So a few people have asked me this question. So I decided to make a video explaining how to do this. This method isn't original. It's actually a method from Dark Star Killer. The link to his video will be in the description. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using two weapons as examples. Step one, choose the area of your character where you want to store the weapon. So maybe he'll have a sword on his back like this, or daggers on his waist like this. When you've decided where you want to store your weapon, place a microchip on that specific part. Make sure you scope into that part directly or else you will have problems later down the line. As you see, I want to store the daggers on my waist. So I'm going to scope into the waist and then stamp a microchip on it by holding L1 and pressing X. For the sword, I want to store it on the back. So I'm going to scope into the torso and place a microchip there. Step two, open the microchip and place down one tag for one weapon and two tags for two weapons. If using one weapon, name the tag weapon position. If using two weapons, name one tag right weapon position and the other tag left weapon position. You don't have to use these names, but if you're doing this for the first time, it is important that you follow exactly what I'm doing so you won't mess up. Step three, if you're using one weapon, place a microchip on that weapon Open the microchip and place down a teleporter. Open the teleporter by holding L1 and pressing square and hover your imp over the enter tag name. Press up on the directional pad until you find the weapon position name. This allows you to scroll through all the tags you've made without having to type them out. If you can type them out, however, they are case sensitive. So any mistake you make typing them would cause problems later on. Also, turn on match target orientation. If using two weapons, place one microchip on both weapons. Open them and place a teleporter in each. Same thing we did with the sword. Open the teleporter and name one right weapon position and the other left weapon position by pressing up on the directional pad. Make sure you turn on match target orientation on those weapons as well. If you press play, you will see that the weapons have teleported to a specific area, but they aren't aligned with the character properly. Easy fix. Open the microchip where you placed earlier to store the weapons and select a tag. If you press on one tag, you will see three arrows connected to a ball. If you grab the ball, you will be able to move the weapon and position it where you see fit. For the sword, I'm going to position it at an angle on the back. For the daggers, I'm going to position them at an angle on the back of his waist. Going into test mode, you will see that the weapons never move. They are glued to him no matter what no matter where you are, which is what you want. Step four, pause the scene. Now we want the weapons to switch to his hands, right? Right. So for one weapon, we're going to scope into the hand we want the weapon to be in. In this case, I want the sword to be in the right hand. So I'm going to scope into the right hand and stamp a microchip right on it. Open the microchip and place a tag and wireless receiver. I'm going to name this tag the same as I named it in the microchip on his back, weapon position. Then 
I'm going to open the wireless receiver and type in weapon equip to name it. Before you close the receiver, go to the zone size tab. In the zone size tab, go to the zone shape group and select scene. That way, the weapon will always stay in place no matter where you are in the scene. After you're done, connect the signal from transmitter output of the wireless receiver into the tag's power input. For two weapons, it's basically the same thing. Scope into each hand and stamp a microchip. Open it up and place a wireless receiver and a tag in each. On the right hand, the tag should be named Right Weapon Position. On the left hand, the tag should be named Left Weapon Position. For the wireless receivers, I named the right one Right Weapon Equip and the left hand left weapon equip. Make sure you select the scene in the zone shape section of the zone size tab and connect the signal from transmitter of the wireless receiver into the tag's power input. Step 5. We're nearly there. Go back and open up the microchip you placed on the part you wanted to store the weapons. For one weapon, place one wireless receiver and one NOT gate in the microchip. Name this wireless receiver the same as the wireless receiver that is in the microchip on the hand. Since I named that receiver Weapon Equip, then this one is going to be named Weapon Equip. I'm also going to select Scene once again in the Zone Size tab. If you're using two weapons, place two wireless receivers and two NOT gates in the microchip. One receiver should be named Right Weapon Equip and the other Left Weapon Equip. Select Scene in the Zone Size tab. Once you're done, connect the signal from transmitter into the NOT gate's input port and the NOT gate's output port into the tag's input power port. Step six, just about done. Open the puppet logic menu and place down a microchip. Open the microchip and place a node and a selector. Now if you're using one weapon, place down two wireless transmitters. I named the first one Unequip. The second one is named the same as the wireless receivers, Weapon Equip. When you're done naming them, decide what button you're going to use to equip and unequip the weapon. I'm going to be using the right directional pad. Hook up whatever button you're going to use to the node. Then hook up the node to the move to next output port of the selector. Then plug port A of the selector into the first wireless transmitter signal to receiver's input port. For port B of the selector, 
plug that port into the second wireless transmitter signal to receiver's input port. If using two weapons, place three wireless transmitters. The first will be named unequip, same as the sword. The next transmitter should be named left weapon equip, and the last one should be named right weapon equip. After that's done, hook up port A of the selector into the first transmitter, and port B into the second and third transmitter. Now go to test mode and see what happens. <laughs> Whoops! The unequipped weapons are fine, but when I equip them, they are in the wrong place. An easy fix once again. Just like earlier, open the microchip that's in the hands and press the tag to edit the position of the weapon. Once you're done, you're done. Now you can freely switch between having the weapons in your hand or to have them put away. Now if you want to add an animation to equip the weapon or weapons you're holding, click the link in the description to find out quickly how to do that. I hope this was very helpful and I hope you can understand me. I probably won't do too many of these tutorials as it's not my thing. I'll leave it to the professionals. The next video on Shade will be out soon. We're going to be tackling air combat. That's right. At least the early stages of it anyway. I hope you all enjoy and see you.